here at the world's largest state fair. We've flown to Minnesota to see what it's all about. And we decided that we needed to try all of the culinary experiences here. However, this place is massive. It's approximately 322 acres. Which is huge it and is. we only have a certain amount of time. But how do we know what to try when there's so many options? We took your recommendations and we are going to ask people here what we should try. We're going to ask strangers to recommend things we should probably eat while we're here. So we started with a security person. While I was being strip searched. I was Nicola, asking. <laughs> I was asking. <laughs> what Nicola we should, jumps in to find out. And, we should, and they gave us a great recommendation. So let's start with their first recommendations. Let's go. Mm. And all I can hear is you. And apparently this is really popular, but wow. it's shocking to us. I did not expect to be eating this today. Neither did I. No. That doesn't tell you what it is, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's it on a stick. But... I found, I found chocolate sauce. What do you recommend that we try at the fair? Okay, everyone has to get Sweet Martha's cookies. Okay. okay. I would try the Amish donuts this year. Yep. Get big fat bacon on a stick. Go get the corn on the cob. Wow. You're gonna want to try Chimborazo. Get yourself a walking taco, the fry bread tacos. Okay. Those okay. are amazing. You can get corn dog and a coke for ten bucks. Okay. You guys are gonna want to try everything here. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need to be doing that. After today, I think we should be doing that. So we got told to try pronto pots because apparently there's a turf war going on. Is there? Yeah. So. What's the turf war? I have no idea. I just got told it. <laughs> so we have to go and try. <laughs> Good story. Thanks for that. I've got no idea. Pronto pots. Definitely Why? Okay. I would say corn dog over pronto pots. Oh right. So there's a great debate going so on why, here, is there? Why would you say? I, I like the texture on pronto yeah. pot better than the texture on the corn dog which is a little... Ah, uh, right, okay. <laughs> oh, now I've got a dilemma. Yeah, but they're different, so right. if anyone tells you they're the same. Yeah. I should really just have both then, shouldn't you I? Should have both. And make my own mind yeah, up. But we're just walking past Pronto Pop, so I think it would be worthwhile that we start here, because I have a feeling we're going to be walking a lot. We have our first recommendation. We do indeed, and what have we got? It's a Pronto Pop. Yes. But well, it doesn't tell you what it is, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's it is, on a stick. That's it's all a I know. sausage on a stick. Oh. Now, I don't know if we're going to put the footage in of yes. me saying why there was a beef going on. Yes. But apparently, it's because this is not corn flour. Okay. This is normal flour. So, this is a pronto pup rather than a... Corn dog. Corn dog. But it was right. recommended that we try this. Okay. And it has... It has both mustard and ketchup I, on it. I'm mouth to watering. Oh, oh. Oh. What's your white top? Because that's got. <laughs> so we got it. We mm. asked which way we should get it, and it has mustard on one mm. side and tomato sauce on the other. Mm. Mm. Wow. That is delicious. It's so light. Mm. That batter's not heavy at all. No, it's kind of bready. I thought um, it was going to be a really thick batter. Yeah. Like too much batter and not enough sausage. And it's not as crispy as I thought it was going to be. But crispy enough. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. And with the vin the mustard mm. and the ketchup. That's like perfect, isn't it? It works perfectly. Yeah. <gasps> Where has this been all our lives? I don't know, but these recommendations, we're going to have to find some more. Yes. On, on to the next one. Let's go. We are all about the competition. We are indeed. So we've come up with a little plan to see who's the best today. Or the closest. Yes. We are going to walk around this state fair and it's massive. Yes. We've already done 2,236 steps to get in. How many steps do you think we're going to do in the whole day? Okay. So the closest to the number will be the winner. And a what do we win? A pat on the back. A crisp high five. Okay. I think we're going to do 13,286. I'm going in to total. say we're going to do 22,000. 22,000? Yes. Seriously? Yes, 22,000. That's like Don't 12 miles. Don't try and change my mind. It's like 12 miles, okay. Okay. <laughs> Play along at home. Let us know what you would have and yeah. how close you were to yeah. the actual figure, which we'll let you know at the end of the video. Okay, let's start moving. So, we're here for our first time. Okay. What would you recommend we eat? Uh, pickle pizza. Oh, wow. wow. It's worth trying, it sounds weird. Yes. <laughs> it does sound very it weird. It does sound weird. <laughs> it's worth trying. Uh, that's brilliant, yeah. thank you very much. Okay, thank you. That's why we need to book another day. <laughs> <laughs> 
Could I have a slice of the pickle pizza, please? No, thank you. We have our next victim, I mean, uh, food choice. Yes, yes. And this one took a while to get. <laughs> it this, did. This is the longest line we've been in so far. It was. Which was only about 15 minutes. And apparently this is really popular. Yes, it is. But so. it's shocking to us. Yeah. Because it's a pickle pizza slice. What it is this? Is. What yeah. is that? So I'm going to let you go first, seeing as you're holding on. I can fold it in one hand. Ah, so that's got a little bit of skill to it. Oh, I've got big hands. Okay. Yes, there's that as well. Here we go. Oh. This is interesting. It looks interesting. How does it taste? It's very vinegary. Oh. I, oh, wow. I wasn't sure about that when we ordered it, but I actually really like that. That slaps it on the face of the vinegar. It is, oh. it is very, very vinegary. Now, if you've watched videos with me before, you know I don't particularly like vinegar. Yeah. But this is actually quite nice. I think I because like the grease of the cheese yeah. is coming through, so it's not like like a bow vinegar. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like cheese and it cuts with the grease of the cheese. This is actually really good. And the this only slight criticism, me. which is only a slight, is the base isn't very crispy, which I would have preferred it to a little bit of crispiness to it. But it's doughy. Yeah, it is isn't doughy. It? Um, it's doughy it's really and chewy. Sweet. Uh, sorry, not sweet, vinegary. It's very vinegary. Go on then, I will try another bite. Okay. Oh! Oh! Mmm. Pour that bit in my hand. The only way you would improve that is to add some meat to it. And Do I'm I? thinking like like a hamburger style meat. Oh. And it would almost be like a Big Mac kind of flavour. But then you could just add some Big Mac sauce on there too. Yeah, so it'd be like a Big Mac pizza. <laughs> no, Next no. year we're coming back, no. we're gonna have our own stand. No, and it's I, gonna be pickle, hamburger, Big Mac pizza. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think it's good as it is. Well. This is delicious. We're just going to keep debating this between ourselves. You're allowed ourselves. your own opinion. Am I? I don't think you are. We're, we're both allowed our own opinion. No. There's only one of us that can be right, though. Okay. Always me. And it's always you. Always yeah, me. Yeah. Oh, I think we should go on to the next one. Okay. What is what is that? It's a water tower, darling. So explain to me why they have those. I have no idea, but I would love to know. Is it because they suffer from droughts here? I would imagine so, but I don't know. How do you get the water up to the top? Or does it get stored in the winter for yes. use in the summer? I'm guessing that's the thing, see? Who could we ask that would know that? Yes. Could that be a Google question? Yes, or in the comments. Okay. Please comment and let us know how they work. Please, because we're just guessing. Because that is the biggest one I have ever seen. That is huge. Found our next stop. Yeah. Get big fat bacon on a stick. Big fat bacon on a stick? What? Come I mean, on. bacon on a on stick? A stick? Wow. I'm running. I'm starting to see a pattern. What's the pattern? Well, it appears that everywhere that is good has a line. Yes, yes. Could we just have one, please? What's Cho this? Chocolate sauce on bacon. What is this? Uh, this can't get any better, can it? We have bacon on, on a, a stick. stick. Big fat bacon. Yes, and this looks delicious. Well, the line says it yep. should be. So go in. <laughs> it's sweet. And seeing them cooking mm. it, it's. Mm. Oh my god, that is amazing. It's chewy, mm. yet soft, sweet, yet salty. Oh my goodness. Is that got like maple sauce mm -hmm. on it or something? It has maple on it. That and is I've... absolutely delicious. It is delicious. And I have to run over and go and get a sauce. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take this with me. Yes, go. Oh, you gave that away easily, didn't you? <laughs> I'm not going to get any sauce. I found, I found chocolate sauce. Has anybody ever had this combination? What? <gasps> that weirdly works. I'll be the judge of that. There's some chocolate still on there. I don't know who told me to wear white. Oh! It weirdly works, oh, it doesn't, does, it? doesn't it? It has, and that's really chocolatey sauce. Mm, mm. 
It's not like one of those no chocolate, low chocolate. It's no, chocolate it's kind syrup. of a bittery sauce. It's chocolate. Nice though, isn't it? It is. But the bacon on its own is delicious. It you is. don't really need it, but that is, that is delicious. Right, let's, let's go to the next, next one. one. We're here for the first time, so what would you recommend we try? All the fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favourite food? Uh, no, you go to Minneapolis St. Paul magazine webpage. Yeah. And they review all the new foods. Ah. Okay. I would try the Amish donuts this year. Hi, could we have one donut, please? One, absolutely. Is this your first time? Yes, it is. Enjoy. Thanks. And what have we got now? We have the donut, the Amish donut. Yes. Which feels so soft and warm. Yes. In fact, I'm just going to go straight in. So the line for this place was really long and it got longer mm. as we were stood there mm. but it, it went really quickly mm. and all i can hear is you making that funny noise but, but outstanding mm-hmm it's all around your face <laughs> thank you it's pillowy soft mm. doughy it's chewy mm. but in the most delicious way that is so soft it's unbelievable it's so isn't it? soft and chewy Oh, that is wow. really like my goodness. That, that is was delicious. Certainly worth the wait. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you mm. for the recommendation. I think we need to go to the next place. That is like no other donut I've ever tried. It's not. Mm. It's. I wonder if it. Now I've got questions, but I think I might have these answered in an upcoming video. Ah. Because it's. Okay. Is this how Amish donuts are? Is this what makes them different? Because this was. I didn't know that the Amish had a specific donut. No. But we do now. We do. And this it was delicious. Was. On to the next one. I can't wait for the next one. Could we go on the big wheel, darling, and have a nice romantic time together? No, we've got steps to do. Okay. Got so steps. watch these scores on the doors so far. Where well, are we up to? My fitness pal tells me we've done 7,885 steps so far. And what did I say? 13,000 something. Yes. And what did you say? <laughs> go on. A few go more on. than that. Okay. <laughs> well, We've still got time to kill. We've still got loads of other places to go. Yes. So let's get moving. Okay. Okay. Everyone has to get Sweet Martha's cookies. Okay. okay. What have we got here? What haven't we got? Look at the size of this. It just keeps going. That is completely wow. full. Wow. We watched the server scoop them all in. Yeah, it was it was a full baking tray full of them and some more. And I've just had to carry them. Yes. I've never been so scared of tripping. Don't drop any. Because that's my party piece. But I'm going to have to go back in because I love cookies. You love chocolate chip cookies? I do love, yes. Monster. You like cookie monster. Look at these though. Mm. Mm. These are chewy, but crispy mm. on the outer edge, aren't they? Just the outer edge is mm. just the outer edge is crispy, mm. uh, but they are chewy as well, which is oh, delicious. delicious. And they're still warm. The amount of people have told us to get these today. Mm. Pretty much everybody we spoke to said you've got to try marvelous cookies. Mm. They are outstanding as a chocolate chip cookie, and they're just small enough. It's like just like a, a couple of bites. The only problem is we've got a lot of <laughs> a couple of bites, so I don't we know. Do. I don't know how we're going to get through all of these. But that's why we've got a lid. Yes. So we're going to take these with us. Road cookies. Yeah. Look at those! Anyway, chin chin. Chin chin. On thank, to the next. Thank you. Some weight in this. I'm still going. We are still going. I'm, o full. I'm only using this because we had to make room. Had to make room. Had to, we had to do it. So didn't the we? Go on. I'm simply taking one for the team. Right? You are. It is so much busier. Yes. Today. This place is huge. And it's so busy. Yes, it, I don't. So let me ask you a question. What is. Would you rather it be 105 <laughs> and empty yes or 83 and full <laughs> definitely 83 and full yeah i can wait in a line oh so could i yesterday was, was obnoxious <laughs> oh wow so we literally saw both sides of the equation yesterday it was 105 and we sweated Fuck all day it. every day okay, and then yeah, on the way home there was a torrential thunderstorm but Biblical proportions. Yes, I've never experienced anything like that before. It was so frightening. It, it was, was from one extreme to the other. I was prepared to camp and sleep in the car. It yeah. was that bad. And I'm not even joking. We were doing 30 miles an hour on the freeway because it was that bad. I have never been so scared yeah. in all my life. 
But it's amazing what a clean up they've done of the, uh, the park today. They have. Apparently they opened late this morning, just purely and simply because there was up. so much to clean up. What now, Nick? Corn. We're going to have corn. Doesn't look very exciting though. Uh, yeah. Just a piece of corn on the corn. We've been told to have it, so we yes, follow Yes, there must be some magic sauce on it. There must be. <laughs> just one, please. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Oops. Thank you. This looks like plain old corn, but the line there, the amount of people that are eating it, the fact that they've got compostal corn says it must be a popular thing. My question is, do they grow corn here? Is that why it's so popular? Or is it just a state fair regular? Staple. 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 Maybe. Right. Where should we sit? Let's go right this one here. Yeah. I feel like wearing white was a... Schoolboy error. If I... Oh, somebody's left the phone. We'll hand it in to somebody now. So this was one of the recommendations. It was indeed. Go get the corn on the cab. And it's corn. It is. I'm not sure why it was recommended, but it was. And we're going with what you've told us. I'm thinking it was recommended because it's the most difficult thing to eat while you're on the move. Especially in white. Exactly, yeah. So. And they dipped it in something. Yeah, there was like, like a- Like butter. Yeah, I'm hoping it's butterous. Oh, that went everywhere. But not on me. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. See, I'm not that sure. That is delicious. I'm not sure it's, I could get excited about corn. It's maybe, grilled, I'll it's try hard. it. Grilled, it's so sweet. It's, yeah, it's crunchy. What the? It's perfect and it's salty with the, wow, I think it was definitely really butter. I put a bit of salt on there. That is so good. I get it. I get now I, why it was I, recommended. I absolutely get that now. I wouldn't, wasn't expecting it to be that buttery and. And it was like the big deal. You were at the fair, no. there's so much here. Mm. Why would you recommend corn? And as a snack, $4, that's not bad though. No, and it's delicious. And mm. is it, can we say it's healthy? Cause it's like a vegetable. <laughs> this is officially the healthiest thing we're going to put in our bodies today, I think. I think so. Mmm. It's delicious. I like the, the mix between the butter and the salt. That's mm -hmm. really good. And that crunchiness of that corn. Mm. Oh, thanks, darling. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> let's finish this off. Okay. And let's go and find our next victim. <laughs> corn. So Nicola has just done her good deed for the day. I have. I have. You just found a mobile phone and what did you do with it? I handed it in because I lose things all the time and I'd be grateful if somebody handed my lost things in all the time. But I just have a husband that follows me around finding Picking what stuff I've lost. up, yeah. <laughs> so, on to the next one. So, what are we up to stepwise? I make it 10,000. Oh, let me see what my... I, I mean, I make it nearly 19,000 because I said 21,000, didn't I? You did. Oh, 20 something thousand. I will check. No, no, let, just take my word for it, I'm sure. 9,588 on my phone. Close. So, we've, but we've not finished. We've not finished so at all. So let's see how far we can get. Yes. It's getting hot. I just thought of a cunning plan to make sure that I win the step count challenge. Maybe I should give the driver my watch, which is give the driver of that my watch which is measuring the count and then pick it up in an hour's time and Nick would know no different. Mm. You know I'm right next to you. Oh, damn. We got bobbleheads. What each? Apparently I've already got a bobblehead you called me. You said I already had a bobblehead so I didn't need one. Because you said I had a peanut head. Yeah. So we've never been to a state fair before, so we're looking for recommendations of what the best thing to eat. So what are your favorite things? Okay. My favorite thing to eat is yeah. a pretzel dog. Pretzel dog. And it's a hot dog. Yeah. Pretzel dog Yes. Okay. They give you spicy brown mustard. Right. Okay. We are on our way to go and try that then. Thank you. So this is a hot dog mm -hmm. coated in pretzel. Mm -hmm. Pretzel. Mm -hmm. Is it batter? Is it? Mm -hmm and then they butter it mm -hmm. with a, a, a brush. That is delicious. The outer shell is chewy and doughy. Mm. It's got the sausage in the middle. Mm. It's like a sausage roll. Mm. Yes. 
That is delicious. The outside is chewy, isn't it, though? Really chewy, mm. like, like a pretzel would be. Chewy like yeah. a pretzel, and then the inside of the sausage is quite salty, yeah, like yeah. a hot dog sausage would be. Yeah. That is outstanding. Is outstanding. Although, it'd be nice if you had some, like, mustard or something on it. Or tomato sauce. Oh, not tomato sauce, ketchup. Yes. <laughs> tomato ketchup, that. Yes, with mustard on would be even better, but on its own, it's outstanding. Wow. That is really good. On to the next one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that is delicious. Mm. On to the next one. Deep fried alligator. Now, that's a strange food. <laughs> Maybe I should get that for Nicola. Now, we got told we should try a scotch egg on a stick. My favorite. Because I'm diabetic, so I can't do the carbs. Yeah. I do the scotch egg because it's egg and then it's got the it's got the ah. around it. We know all about scotch, scotch eggs. Scotch eggs, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. A little concerned about this because we did Gordon Ramsay scotch egg. Yes. And nobody watched it. Yes, we spent um, a lot of time and effort on that video. Yeah, didn't and we? nobody was interested, so I'm scared no. that people aren't gonna be interested in it. So we hope it was Gordon Ramsay they weren't interested in, not us. Uh, um <laughs> could we have a scotch egg, please? Yes, of course. I bet Colin has. Yes, please. And could we have horseradish on there? What? Could we have horseradish? Yes, of course. Please. It's the last one oh, right there. Thank there you. Right okay, thank you. Please, yes. Yes, please. You don't mind if I film that, do you? Thank you. Wow. Thank that you. Good. Thank have you so much. Minute. Cheers. Now this is from the motherland. Yes. So. Horseradish was part of the suggestion, wasn't it? So yes. Make sure we put the horseradish on. Okay. 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 Let's go somewhere and try this. Okay. So we've got the scotch egg, which we, we were going to skip on. Yes, we were going to skip it. Because but nobody wanted to see us eat scotch eggs. We did, we did say it. we would go with recommendations. So this is a recommendation. And we had two people recommend yes. this. Yes. So that's like a, I don't know what that percentage is. It's like a... It's a high percentage. It's a high percentage. And we know a thing too about scotch eggs. Yeah, but not about percentages. <laughs> So this one. Boiled egg wrapped in meat mm. and then breaded. It's um, more of a traditional Scotch egg. Is it? Mm-hmm. Because it's a hard boiled egg. Does anybody else have the same issue as me? Hard boiled eggs, I just don't like. But I can eat any other type of egg. Stop with your tomfoolery. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. How do you not love a boiled egg? I could eat a boiled egg like an apple. No. Yes. That's really good. That is really good Scotch egg. Mm. It's, the sausage meat is so well seasoned, yeah. that comes through, doesn't it? It's a, it's a quality sausage, that though. Not yeah. like the cheap stuff that we used to get as kids. No. And that egg, although it's a hard boiled egg, it's mm. perfectly cooked. Yeah, it's soft, it's not... Um, rubbery. Rubbery, But yeah. sometimes a white can go... When, yeah. I, used to, when I was a kid, yeah. having a Scotch egg, the mm. boiled egg could be rubbery yeah. and tough. But the meat is kind of peppery, isn't it? Mm. I think I can see chilli flakes in the actual uh, pork. Mm. That is perfect. Yeah. That boiled egg on its own. And the horseradish is not offensive, is it? No, it it's, just it's complements it. It's kind of a really it. mild one. Some Strangely, of them can be a bit... Um, like, eye watering. Yes, yeah. The only thing I would say that I wouldn't say is as traditional as the UK would be the mm. coating. Mm. It works, but it's not like mm. we would get in England, is it? No, it adds a little bit of chewiness to it, though, isn't it? It does. It's delicious. Oh. I think we should move on to our next one. Let's see where we get to. And how many steps have we done so far? We're not leaving till we've done 21 Hi, bye. <laughs> <laughs> You'll still be here at 9 o'clock tonight. But there's a long way left to go. There is. So you've got to hang around to the end to yes. see who is at the closest yes. step mark. Mm -hmm. So I have a little bit of a problem. What's that? I keep seeing funnel cake. Yes. Nobody's mentioned it. Yes. But I might have to go off piste. There might be certain things that I try yeah. that are not recommended. But because I'm at a fair, I just have to try them. What is funnel cake? I don't know, but it sounds... Like sounds something I should be something eating. Something we should... Hi. Hi. Could we have um, a regular corn dog, please? <laughs> so we have a corn dog. We do, because we have to settle the great debate. Pronto pups. Pronto pups. You definitely Why? have to have pronto. Okay. I would say corn dog over pronto. Which was hotly, de de hotly debated. Easy for you to say. It was not easy at the last place. So we have to try. We tried the, the other one, which is corn. The pronto pups. pups. Yes. And now we're trying to good old fashioned corn dog. Yes. So it's all to do with the battering or the coating, I believe. Mmm. Mmm. This is grainier. Mmm. And thicker. Yes. But not bad. Mmm. More like corn. It's... Cornbread. Mmm. Isn't it? 
it's a little tougher to eat. It's a little drier. Yes. Oh, this is hard. They're both really good. The sausage is different in the middle. Now, yes. I'm guessing that's just the way they were prepared rather than the, the batter. It's smaller. It is. <laughs> it is much smaller. And it comes, I did get pops of ketchup. Okay. And mustard. Does it have more of a sweeter, sweeter taste than that? Yeah, the corn does. It's, it yeah. is. So I'm going to, can I go with both? Yes, absolutely. Mmm. Don't leave me hanging. Which one do you want? Both. I'm going to go both. There we go. That just improves it, doesn't mm. it? That makes it even better. Mm. So the question I have for you, Mr. Croc, is mm. which one do you prefer? Um, whichever one I have in my hand is my favourite. I am not going to make a decision. I think they're both amazing and I would eat oh, both of them. Oh, you can't sit on the fence. You've got to say something. I'm getting splinters. It's okay. I am sat on that fence. I like both. If you were to hand me a corn dog, yeah. I wouldn't go, oh, give me a pronto pops. If yeah. you were to hand me a pronto pops, I wouldn't be like, oh, give me a corn dog. Mm. I'd eat both happily. Yes. So therefore, I like them both. So we have settled absolutely nothing right now. <laughs> but one thing is certain. Yes. We have more food to eat. We do. Let's go. Let's continue. Fried ravioli, that sounds good. <laughs> it all sounds good. But it was not been recommended yet. It hasn't, so let's hope somebody recommends that. Yeah. Although the, that man recommended the hummus. He did. Let's see if we can find that. Okay. I personally like their hummus. There's a place that sells hummus. It's called Baba's. Ah, okay. okay. Um, Mediterranean food. I yeah. had a fantastic hummus plate there the other night. So. Super. You've had a few people recommend yes. Fried Mediterranean food. I did not expect to be eating this today. Neither did I. No. But, you know, we, that's a recommendation. We're following recommendations. we got to follow what we're told to do. So. This bowl has got hummus, onion flavoured hummus, yep. sour cream, yep. tater tops. I yep. don't know what these are. Pitter so puffs, it says. So much. Oh. It's a pitter puffs. So, so why like, you tell everybody? Oh, and a bit of bacon. Yes, lard on to bacon. Mm. I'll be the judge of that. So I'm going to get, and so there's tater tots in here as well, which look delicious. I'm going to start with bacon. It's so smooth. Yeah. And there's like a, a hint of onion in there. Mmm. Yeah. Not so over. Like and then, oh, there's caramelized in there. Mmm. So with the chewiness of that bacon, yeah. then there's a little chewier, yeah? Mm -hmm. It was sous vide. Oh. Sous vide. Mmm, very fancy. Oh, I'll get with the caramelized onion. Okay. Oh, the caramelized onions are just sweet enough. Mm. It just elevates that. Mm. Mm. What? Mm. We've got to try the bread, you guys. I have no idea what these are. Oh, they're hot. Are they? Oh, yeah. oh wow, they feel amazing straight away. And the hummus is cold. Yeah. So there's going to be a hummus in there. Oh, the they feel really hot. Pillowy, pillowy pots of dough. Oh, this, this, oh, this. oh wow. Wait. Mm-hmm. So good. They're really good. Mm. The soft and doughy. Mm. Perfection. And it have got like a paprika on the outside, which adds a little bit of a spice for it, doesn't it? Mm. This is not what I expected to have that. No, I did not expect to have this. I and mean, this is a new dish for mm. this year, apparently. Yeah, it's perfect timing. Yeah, exactly. So thanks for the recommendation on this one. We did it! We did indeed. What a long day. We got to the end. So how many steps? Who was the closest to the actual steps that we did? Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!